Hi guys, I'm going to be mounting today the hybrid that we have created by taking Agrius Claudina Lugens and pairing it with Agrius Beatifica Beata and that is a male that we have manually created uh, in the Amazon in Peru. I recently was able to acquire a whole bunch of these that we have farmed. Each one that we have raised comes out differently. These hybrids are highly variable and each one is very unique. This example is probably one of the most beautiful I've seen in a long time. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys because the colors are just unreal. So I have left the specimen uh, in the hydration box for about 12 hours and uh, it is now ready for me to you can see how pliable it is it's ready for me to move its wings and put all of the pins in place to make it look symmetrical this process is by far the most challenging it requires a great deal of focus and attention but it's also very relaxing to do this is one of uh, the strongest flying butterflies in the world so you have to put a second piece of uh, tracing paper to make sure that that forewing doesn't droop down. What I do on the right side, I must do on the left side. I'm gonna match it to make it look like a exact perfect mirror. That's challenging to do too. The reason why these guys are called cocaine butterflies is because as a larva, they feed on the plant that's used to make cocaine and uh, they are found in the zones in South America where narco traffickers are quite active in their production so they've been given that nickname it's very interesting because they're a highly variable species and they're found throughout the Amazon jungle and other rainforests ranging from Mexico all the way down into Bolivia So here you can see that I'm going to be uh, mounting the hind wings to make them look symmetrical. I want that V shape in their relationship to their forewings wings to be equal. And uh, in this particular specimen, you can see that there are two feathers, one on either side of the left and right hind wing. And those are scent patches that are used to spread the pheromones so that they can attract the females, so I want to make sure that they're nicely splayed out. And then of course, getting the antenna nicely uh, positioned so that that too looks like it's in a V shape. That will require me to position the head to make sure that it's actually straight so that the antenna have a nice V to it. These are all fine uh, finishing um, motions that are done at the very end once the specimen is fully symmetrical and then I can make these minor adjustments. And I will be able to let it dry for overnight. And because I'm in such a dry environment, it will be ready for me to unpin in 24 hours. Guys, I'm gonna be asking you, now that you've had a chance to watch a few of my videos, if you like my content, please, Give a subscribe and a like it goes a long way with growing my channel and if you have any feedback that you'd like to leave i would love to read your comments until next time i'm going to be posting more videos like this i get lots of requests for them so i will be seeing you guys very soon thank you for watching